This is a space we reserve for virtual adventures, like a playroom, but it only works in our minds. We call it the Dreamatorium. You guys are hoarding this second bedroom as some kind of playroom? Hey, we worked hard on that. It's an asylum for half-witted children! This doesn't work for me. I'm worried about Abed. He hasn't left the apartment since Troy moved out. He won't even play in the Dreamatorium. Today is Abed's first therapy session. He's been feeling extra vulnerable lately, so he's finally gonna let me practice my psych skills on him. Abed? Yeah! I found you by turning into you. How cool is that? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Tell me where we are so I can pretend to see it. We're inside a locker. It's where I spent a lot of time in junior high. You think this is where we'd put you? You know that's absurd, right? It's a place where people like me get put when everyone's finally fed up with us. I've run the simulations, Annie. I don't get married. I don't invent a billion dollar website that helps people have sex. I don't make it into Sundance, Slam Dance, or Dance Pants. Your simulations are nothing more than anxieties. You're afraid you don't fit in. You're afraid you'll be alone. Great news! You share that with all of us. So you'll never be alone. And you'll always fit in. Unicorns and wizard sleeves, hammer pants and make believe. Pirate ships sailing off the sea. Will you come party with me in my castle? Change for you guys, because when you really know who you are and what you like about yourself, changing for other people isn't such a big deal. 